Thank you very much for your question. It is a complicated one because the use of warfarin foregoes the formation of a clot and a clot of a kind that is likely to embolize and from there it can move to the lungs and it can literally block off the circulation to the lungs which is deadly. Now, uh, warfarin, what makes it so awkward is that it needs to be controlled very carefully. It's very, very vulnerable to diet because the vitamin K, which is part of how it's formed, is produced by uh, organisms in the gut. And so, depending on what you eat and what you don't eat, uh, you will find that the values related to warfarin go up very, very readily. And so, one needs to measure it uh, twice a week or so in order to get it in a stable range of usually between 2.5 to, uh, to 3.5. Now, to answer your question, the first thing would be what the reason was that you were originally put on warfarin. I think that's something that would need to be clarified first. Secondly, the question would be what would be the chances if you were to be involved in an injury or undertake a type of diving, whether warfarin would aggravate your chances of recovery. If the chances of, of getting serious decompression illness or bleeding or uh, developing some other problem would be significant, then that type of diving would be discouraged. But it is also possible that sometimes divers are able to dive, but they then select a type of diving in which the chances of injury, chances of decompression illness, chances of having complications from warfarin are minimal. And that would then be deemed acceptable. I hope that answers your question. Indian.